Today we're going to look at division, and we're going to be using manipulatives to show the model of what division is. And if you don't have manipulatives, I'll show you how you can do it using graph paper or even plain paper if that's all you have. The example problem I'm going to do for you is 21 divided by 7. You might see it as 21 divided by 7 with the divisor on the outside and the dividend on the inside and then the quotient, your answer, will be up on top. This is the most common way we're going to be looking at them. Um, but in addition to these two, you might think of that same problem as 21 divided by 21 equals 7 times what number? Or you could flip that around. 7 times what number equals 21? All of these say 21 divided by 7 in a different way. And later on in your life, you'll be looking at it as a fraction. A fraction is a, is a, a fraction is a dividing problem. 21 divided by 7. We're going to stick with this one. And what I'm going to do is take some cubes. How many cubes am I going to take? I'm going to take my dividend, the number that I'm being divided. So I'm going to count out 21 cubes. I'm not going to count them all out right now. That's a waste of time. What I'm going to do is count them out as I make rows of 7. So for now, I'm going to match them up in this grid paper so you can see how that looks. But if you're working on a blank surface, that's fine too. I've got 2, 4, 6, 7. Random colors here. Don't care about the colors. As I continue, I need to keep counting. 8, 10, 12, 14. Some of you might recognize 14 is a multiple of 7. 16, 18, counting by twos to make it fast, 20, 21. So I've put down 21 cubes. I've got them in rows of 7. And there's 1, 2, 3 columns if you want to look at it that way. So the answer for 21 divided by 7 is 3. The quotient is 3. If I have 21 in rows of 7, I have 3 columns. All right? Now, if you don't have um, cubes, and this works for any problem. Now, if you don't have cubes, you can do the same problem on graph paper, except I'm going to count to 21 again. So I'm going to start 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There's one of my rows, right? And then if I draw another one here, I should think 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, expanding it to another row. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. There's my 21. I have rows of 7. I have 3 columns. If you don't have graph paper, using blank paper, you can just make simple dashes. These aren't tallies that I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and make a cross tally. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. And until you have some of these math facts memorized, this is going to be the fastest way to go about it. Just take the number that you're going to, take the total number, your dividend, put it in rows of your divisor, 7, and then count the number of columns that you make to get your quotient when you're finished. That's it.